right, so back with another tutorial for you. Seven different tools or resources that you can use when you're building funnels, whether you are building a lead funnel, website funnel, course funnel, doesn't matter. Some of these are free, some of these are paid, but uh, let's just dive in here. We are right now on ClickFunnels inside of my dashboard. And if you're new to ClickFunnels, it's basically just a simple drag and drop software. You can see all your funnels here and then you just open them up and they look like this. You have the different steps. I can add new steps like thank you page or order form or anything like that from the next step. But what I'm gonna do is just gonna edit this page and show you these seven different resources and how I use them when I'm building funnels. So these are probably the most common ones that I use to uh, make them look more beautiful. As if you take a look here, you can see this is a funnel template. You can see we have dummy text here. This is one of the templates that I give away to people inside of the course and people who buy the funnel bundle with 37 funnels. Link is in the description to those products. But let's dive into the first step that I would normally do, which is to decide the overall theme. So I'm just gonna delete the background here and maybe go with something like that. And I wanna get the overall feeling of the above the scroll. So instead of people having to go down and watch the entire funnel, I want them to feel like this is the brand that they can trust. I want it to look professional and I want to make them hooked into actually checking out the funnel. And so one of the first things that I'll do is font and colors. So I'm actually gonna go with something like this. So this is a template here in Canva. I'm just gonna use these as background images. You can see a couple of ones that we have here. And so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download one of these. I'm actually gonna choose JPEG for a smaller file so that has a faster load speed. And I'm just gonna download that one for now. Save that right there. And then let's see if I open that in Finder. Let's see the, the size of this info. We can see the size of this thing is 52 kilobytes. That is perfect and we're then gonna upload that to the page editor. So I'm just gonna go here, click upload, or I can also drag in the image to this page. There it is. And then we're gonna load that into ClickFunnels and boom, gonna double click that. So this is the background that we're going with. I'm going to make the font white and maybe the button color, let's see, an orange type of button. We'll see, we'll start with something like that. Move this down a little bit, just like that. Change this to white font and then go to the next one. So now for the font, obviously the first tool is ClickFunnels. The second one that we're gonna use, the resource that we're gonna use is the font. When you're here, the theme or the group of fonts that I like to use is in basic and sans serif. And then you can preview by typing in a word that you wanna see so you can see examples of these fonts. For an example, Mont is a font that I use a lot, but let's say that I wanted to do exactly what I told you. So I would type in, you can see I've you know tried a couple of these, 200, submit, and I can see designer here with that font. And so let's say I wanna use something like this. All I would do is I would just click download, save, open it up, and I would go to click funnels. So now we're gonna upload the font. So we're gonna go to account details. You just go to here, account, and to digital assets. So here's where you upload your font. I'm just gonna grab the one that I'm gonna use. Actually, let me show you. So you just click here, new asset. You choose the file, you call it something, hit add. And that way it's gonna be added as a digital assets here. So I'm actually going to go with something more artsy, like Recoleta, for an example. Let me show you what that would look like. We're going to find the semi-bold one. I'm not going for a super like masculine, bold type of font. I'm going with this one. I'm going to go in here to my CSS code, which by the way, you don't have to code. These are just things that I've added because I wanted to take the sign from here to a 10 out of 10. So I'm just going to change it for the headline which means now I have this instead and I don't want it to be all capital, or sorry, uppercase. I want it to be just like that. So I'm gonna write done for you, beautiful funnel designs for personal brands. So I like this font, it's a little bit artsy. Let's see if spacing, maybe even a little bit bigger. Okay, so then this one i don't want the button to have the same font i want that one to have gilroy so you can see i'm using gilroy for 
the other ones. So I'm actually going to move this one up. Only headline. And actually going to add it in here. So we have icon, bullet list, button, so on and so forth. And boom, now we have that for the button. So here I'm going to say C funnel portfolio. That will do. I'll just make that the same font as the text. And I'm going to add some spacing here as well on the button. I'm going to make sure it's on elevate just so it has this little pop. And then make sure that the font here is 1.5 line. Awesome. So here I'm just going to type in. Funnel portfolio. Okay, now we want to change this to me. So I'm just gonna type in Gustav and hopefully there's some images of me. I'm just gonna go with this one. I know I use this one a lot, but it's just an example of the funnel, so it doesn't really matter. Let me change this logo as well. There we go. All right, so now we have above the fold done and we're gonna go to the next step, which is to you know obviously continue building up the page and depending on what offer you have, you're going to use specific sections to communicate that. So for an example, I'm just gonna duplicate this and drag it down here and change the color of it. So this is how I like to build out the next step of the funnel is to sort of build one section at a time and then duplicate it when I have the feeling for kind of how I want the page to look. So for an example, what is the next thing after done for you? Beautiful funnel designs for personal brands. We do this, we help you with this call to action the truth about non-converting funnels. We just had a coaching call with my students, so my, my brain is a little bit fried. Well, we'll use the copy that I come up with. I'm gonna move this down to like 46. It's a little bit smaller than the main headline. This one is still the same. We're gonna use some images. Actually, let's go to my course funnel, maybe this one. So just so I have something to use on this page. I'm gonna change it to that, delete this. Boom, there we go. And we're gonna delete this, create another section. I'm gonna switch these around. And now we're gonna use another image, this one for an example. And we're gonna talk about our solution instead. So that's the problem, the truth about non-converting funnels. And we're sort of creating this gap of like, hey, this is why it's not working. Here's how we're different. And I wouldn't use that as the headline, but I'm showing you the structure of how we're building funnels. I'm not going into the fully advanced version of it, but the simple one that you can quickly use to build better funnels. And I can obviously just clone the, the buttons, move them down here. And same thing here. I'm not sure I would have the button on all of them, but I'm just showing you kind of how to use it if you're new to ClickFunnels or any page builder, it's usually the same. Now what I wanna have is I wanna have three icons. So I'm gonna go to icon view. And for this one, I'm gonna use the same background image. Let's actually download the next one as well, page two. So I'm gonna go to page two, download the, the JPEG version at 75. That was good size, it looks great. And we're just gonna call it background two. And we're gonna use the icons from this site, iconview.com. Now you can go to Omni, you can see different versions and styles. I'm just gonna use this simplistic, minimalistic line icon theme. And so we're gonna type in funnel, this one. We're gonna mark that one. We have selected icons, one message. So that's one thing. And then sales. So. I have three icons. I'm just gonna click download. And I'm actually gonna make them 128 pixels, PNG or SVG. We're gonna save that. We're gonna open it up and open them in ClickFunnels. So you just add a new element, right? And you can find icons here as well, but I like to upload custom icons with my color and you can have gradient icons. You can have more options when you're uploading them as an image. Probably gonna put it to like 75 or 100 pixels. So then we have them right here. We're gonna just um, upload them to ClickFunnels and boom, there we go. And so the first one was the funnel. Okay, then I'm just gonna copy this one, move it down here. Make it a little bit smaller and on that one as well.
and I would probably make the headline a little bit bigger and maybe add some shadows behind these or background image. But just to keep this video as short as possible, I'm just gonna leave it like that because the point was to show you the different resources. And so moving on to the testimonial section, what people are saying about me. Again, we're going to delete this one and we're going to upload the next background image. Number two, there we go. All right, so now you can see we have backgrounds in between these columns or behind these three columns. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into columns and I'm just gonna scroll down here until I see that it's marked. You can see that it's marked right there. It's highlighting the column. And so I'm gonna click that, go to background color. I can change it or I can just go here and remove it entirely. And so I'm probably gonna do something like 15. So you can see here 15% of white. So let's just try that for this one. Okay, so that leads me to the next resource, which is these testimonials. I'm gonna actually add a laptop to them. So I'm gonna go to smart mockups, which has a lot of different mockups for pretty much anything, print, uh, clothing, packaging, but I'm gonna use technology and multiple devices. Actually, I'm just gonna use the laptop one because we want to have something for the testimonials and so I'm gonna go and find some that are isolated so maybe something like this and I'm gonna upload an image to it so I'm gonna remove the MacBook logo right there I'm gonna upload an image but what I'm actually gonna do is show you guys how you can use canvas so for example I just created this to show you it's just you know text image and the background so what I want to show you is how you can create these in Canva. And I'm just gonna download it. JPEG, again, same process. So this would be a person. If it's a testimonial, it would be the person, the face, right? And just the play button on top of it. So they click it and the video is gonna start playing. Or you can have an image of a person, right? It could be just an image and a written testimonial. I'm just showing you the, the tool, which is Smart Mockup. So page five, gonna download that. It's not a background, but we're gonna just Call it that and then as we go here we can just drag it in there so now if this was again a person i would download it and that leads me to the next tool or the next resource which is tiny png so tiny png helps you minimize the size of your images so now we've downloaded it from here and we know that it's not small enough right if i open it right here we can see that it's 463 kilobytes. So we would then add it to tiny PNG. There we go. It's gonna compress it to 139. So again, I could probably download it in a smaller format and get it under 100 kilobytes, but let's just go with this one now. Download it, boom, you can see the quality is still there. It's a little bit, you know, it's not as good, but it's, it's almost there. And then again, I'm just gonna upload that here and now you kind of start to see the process of how it works so if this was the compressed one i would just you know import it boom and there we go i'm then gonna delete these just like that and clone these again i don't want this headline to be all capital boom awesome again we're going to move this one down awesome so then we have, and yes, I have notes. <laughs> we have uh, ClickFunnels, Canva, the font, Smart Mockups, Icon View, and Tiny PNG. And you might be asking yourself, what's the seventh and the last one? Well, that is this right here. So I'm not gonna show you too much of it because it's a spreadsheet that's inside of my course, Full-Time Funnel Designer. But what it has, if you saw a glimpse of it there, it's over 70 different resources. And I just picked one of them. What that resource helps you do, and obviously it's a paid one, it's inside of this course, a full-time funnel designer, which by the way, if you haven't checked it out, check it out below, link is in the description. Basically shows you how to build funnels and charge for it and make money building funnels for other people to 10K per month, just building funnels, which is a lot of fun. Again, as I was saying, this resource right here, you can, for example, you can get illustrations like many pixels has. So we're gonna pick a category, like for example, web design. And then we're gonna pick the type of the design or assets. And we're gonna choose this one. And then I can go to ClickFunnels. And this is what I like about this. I can choose this blue right here. 
and get the exact same type of asset inside of my illustrations boom and then i can just again go through the same process download this compress it if it's too big upload it to click funnels add it here and so on and so forth so you can see how quickly i'm building out this beautiful page right from just going through the same process of the font the images the colors the icons and really what it comes down to is having a good funnel strategy. So these are the seven assets or resources, if you will. But if you don't have the skills, if you're lacking the understanding of a sales process, if you're lacking the strategy behind funnels, your funnels is not going to convert because the copy and the design in the first place is going to be messed up because you don't have a structure. So obviously it sounds like I'm pitching and yes, if you want the, the course, you can get it. If you don't want it, totally fine. We have a lot of content here on YouTube as well. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this video. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll make sure you go check them out and see what questions you have so I can make another video covering that. Also, make sure if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, post notifications on, like this video so we can get it out to more people. It inspires me to create more content for you guys. With that said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.